What's up internet, Kevin here on TLD, where we've been getting ready for all the crazy holiday releases coming up, and in the next few weeks, we got a lot of big titles coming out, including stuff like Assassin's Creed 4, Call of Duty Ghosts, and Battlefield 4. But today, we've already got the release of Batman Arkham Origins, and we picked up the collector's edition so we can bring you guys an unboxing right now. <laughs> So here it is, the collector's edition of Arkham Origins. Now the box itself is actually pretty big, and the cover features the usual design of showing the game's title off on the front, little bat symbols on the side, and on the back, we have the standard advertising and game info. After cutting some tape and removing the cover, the box's actual design is pretty simple, with the sides looking the same as they did on the cover, and once again just having the name of the game on the front and back. Now, anyone who's been watching my unboxings for long enough will know that my biggest pet peeve is lots and lots of loose pieces of paper. And opening up this box, this is exactly the first thing that greets you. Up first, we get some blueprints for the Batwing, a map of Arkham City that glows in the dark, and a wanted poster for everyone's favorite bat. Next up, we get a little envelope that contains, you guessed it, more paper. This time, a contract explaining Black Mask's deals for all the assassins to kill Batman, and a collection of dossiers on each and every one of them. These are actually kind of cool as far as the whole pieces of paper thing goes, and it's nice because you actually have something to put them away in, rather than just stacking them up in random places and trying to find storage for them. Now putting those all aside, next up we get a pair of DVD cases. We get the Batman Arkham Origins game itself, and a DVD of the documentary Necessary Evil, which takes an in-depth look at villains in comic books. Now inside the game case we have both discs for the 360 version of Arkham Origins, and both of the Collector Edition bonus DLC items, the Deathstroke Challenge Maps and First Appearance Batman Skin. The last thing we find in the top portion of the box is the game's art book, an 80-page hardcover design featuring concept art for characters and locations with commentary from various members of the design team. And inside of it, we also get our last few scraps of paper in this collector's edition, a photo of Bruce Wayne's family, and a stencil for the anarchy symbol. Now last, and probably least, you get a pair of teeny tiny evidence bags containing a tooth and a poker chip. Now I'm pretty sure the tooth belongs to Killer Croc, I honestly have no idea what the poker chip is about just yet. If you know, let us know in the comments, or I'll just find out while I'm playing the game. Now that we cleared out all the stuff on the top, we can drag out this giant styrofoam block, cut right through the middle of it, remove some plastic, and reveal the centerpiece of most collector's editions, the statue. This one's rather large and depicts the Joker behind a desk, surrounded by televisions that, once you add batteries, produce LED lights that are supposed to depict all the different assassins from the game. The statue itself is actually pretty awesome. The LEDs are a bit underwhelming, but the details of the desk, papers, and even the fruitcake and beheaded teddy bear are well done. It's a bit light, and some of the materials feel cheap to the touch, but it's a statue meant for looks, which is something that it does well. Now does all of this justify $120? And I'm actually at a bit of a crossroads on this one. I like the statue, the art book is fairly standard, and getting an actual DVD with a digital option instead of digital only is nice. And while I normally hate tons of paper, the dossiers themselves are pretty cool, and a good thematic touch. For double the cost of the game by itself, I'd have to go with this one actually being worth it for diehard Batman fans, especially if you love the Joker. Well that was our unboxing and thoughts on the Batman Arkham Origins Collector's Edition. Now while we did the unboxing here on TLD, I'm actually on another channel called Tech of Tomorrow, where I'll be doing my first impressions and full review of the game on PC, along with benchmarks down the road. So if you guys want to check that out later today, make sure to check out the link right here. Now if you already plan to grab the game for yourself just because you're a huge fan of the prior ones and you're excited for this one, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description for pricing and availability. And while you're down there, please make sure to hit that like button to let us know how much you've been enjoying this content. And if you're not a subscriber, now is the best time to become one because we got a lot of great stuff planned for this holiday season. We got a lot of big releases, including two next-gen consoles that we're planning on picking up and giving you lots of good videos on. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching our videos. I'm Kevin with TLD, and we'll see you next time.